Hello, bonjour, comment ça va? Welcome back to VR Essentials, where we talk about the practical uses of VR. Whew, that's right. My name is Lazius K. Be sure to watch until the end of this video because we have two prize giveaways. That's right, not just one, two. I was very fortunate that DJ Gemstar came to my Mixed Reality studio and together we did a collaboration. He's ranked number one in Singapore and number 16 in Asia overall, so that was pretty awesome. So some of the footage I'm going to show you today as to what are the best theater or media players to use for the Oculus Quest will be part of that. Media player number one. YouTube VR is just a fantastic app to watch content in VR. I think it's one of the best ones. Uh, you can use your thumbstick to bring boom the screen up to you or whoosh, bring it back all the way down there. And you can really tell whether the quality of the content, you know, is going to be pixelated, uh, if the colors are nice, uh, if it's going to be the blacks and the whites are coming out nicely. I mean, it's just a fantastic app to give you a good overview. And also the scenery here, I'm um, in an environment that's pretty dark. You can see the shadows of the screen on the floor. So the atmosphere is really pretty realistic. So it's pretty fantastic. You can also grab the screen, bring it up on the right or bring it on the left put it up if you're lying down or put it wherever you want. Uh, when you pause the video, of course, you can also browse through all the other web, the, the other videos, do absolutely everything you can on the YouTube, um, you know, on the web itself, on your phone, but there's nothing like VR to watch your content. So YouTube VR, awesome job, love it. Number two, Skybox VR. Skybox VR is an incredibly professional app where you can watch all your favorite movies. You can hook up to an air screen, a private network, upload VR videos. Do check out the link description below the video app tutorial I did about this using the Oculus Go. It's exactly the same way, just that you're using different uh, controllers. So if we go into one of the projects that I actually put uh, on my Oculus using the PC earlier, which is the Tribe XR Performance with DJ Gemstar. So we're in a private cinema, as you can tell, really immersive, the lighting is really cool. When you play the video, uh, there'll be some shadows happening around as well. This is really, really nice. Um, you can work this app anytime you want. You don't need the internet like you would on YouTube. Of course, YouTube is more to look at all types of different other content, but I like YouTube too because they compress the files, you see. So the quality won't be as good as in Skybox VR. Skybox, the quality will be as per the file that you transfer. There's no change, it's absolutely fantastic. But with YouTube VR, I can tell what would happen if the compression, when the compression takes place. So that's the difference. You can't invite anybody into the app, into the theater with you. We're gonna look at another one uh, just after this. But what you can do, however, is you can change different scenes. Uh, you can also go on the space station. Ooh. You can also uh, make the screen much larger, which it really helps if you want to look at the quality of things, or you can bring it all the way back. Uh, you can also drag it, so all the way up, just like on YouTube VR, very similar. So very friendly if you're on the plane or you're on your bed and you're lying down. So Skybox VR, really awesome. Uh, you can also upload many different formats but check out the link in the description below how to do all that with the Oculus Go tutorial that I did a few weeks ago. Number three, big screen. What is really fantastic about big screen is that I can basically play anything that's on my computer remotely and create a private room or a public room where I can invite people to come into that room and together we can watch the content. For example, you can change the environments in which you can create the rooms. So, here is home, which is the initial room that they provide you with when you first load the app. But you can change it to a nice, really cool retro cinema. So the retro cinema is really nice. The colors, everything, the lighting, it really feels very immersive. Like I'm in a real cinema as well. So they have so many different environments also. A luxurious theater, home theater, the woods. Uh, gosh, I mean, it just keeps going the list. There's four, there's seven pages in total of different environments that you can choose from, uh, which are suited for specific purposes that you may have uh, when you want to create and show content with other people. All right, so once you have created your private room, basically what will happen is that the app will act as a remote display, okay? When I mean display, that's because you can't actually click 
on anything. So if you're looking to do a presentation or you want to showcase any content to your boss, your manager, or you want to do maybe a private exclusive interview, inviting a couple of media to come in or a couple of VIP guests to meet someone. Maybe you have a famous DJ coming down to your club and you want your most VIP person. They could pay a fee and meet them in VR. Uh, whether they are based in another part of the world or actually in your own town, you can do this using Big Screen, right? Big Screen won't work without the internet. So I highly recommend you have 5G. Um, you know, depending on the internet, then the quality of whatever you stream from the PC will be affected by that. The other thing is, if you do want to do a presentation or something, I highly recommend you get maybe an assistant to help you. And then on cue, you could say, for example, when you play the video, So this is a clip from the video that we just did with DJ Gemstar. Uh, also, you know, big screen really gives me a good idea as to what it would look like to present such a big image or, or, or video on a giant screen in a, for example, grand scale cinema. So we can change seats. Link in the description below uh, how to do all these kind of things. There we go. And then we'll have a better view from from here. So as I mentioned, you do have to use your computer and then you can see that my cursor now is moving on the screen. So this is live uh, and it's, you know, all been done by satellite, I guess. So there we go. We have the giant screen. Uh, just to give you another tip, if you want the audio to work inside of a uh, big screen, after you download the driver, you will have to basically go to your audio settings and choose Big Screen Audio Streamer 1.2. It might be higher when you watch this video. So you have to uh, tick this one, all right? Don't use your own speakers. Go back to your own speakers after you close the Big Screen app, no problem. But during the Big Screen, if you have been a host to, um, to, to creating a room, then you will have to use this. Otherwise, people will not be able to use, to hear, sorry, uh, your audio. So just a little tip there. Right, so let's look at another clip now. This is playing directly from my computer this time and not uh, it's not being compressed by YouTube in any shape or form. This is uh, DJ Gemstar actually performing in virtual reality using the Tribe XR app. Uh, do remember that we're doing a very cool giveaway at the end of this video, so do keep watching. So this recording was done uh, inside of the Oculus app. I was the guy actually with the hands there and DJ Gemstar is the guy who's uh, behind the, um, the decks. So yeah, so really, really awesome. Um, the other thing about uh, that you need to know about big screen is that when you create your own room, you will be limited to four people if you're an Oculus Go or an Oculus Quest user. Uh, if you have another headset, maybe an HTV or a Valve Index or something, maybe you can have more. For example, if you go to social, it will show you all the public rooms and here there's up to 12 people, here up to eight people, here up to eight people. So they obviously are not using an Oculus Go or an Oculus Quest in order to do this. Uh, the developers have also said that in future you will be able to click directly on your screen and remotely access your, you know, do everything on your desktop from anywhere in the world, but it's not there at this moment in time. You do need to be behind your computer. So when you go to my room, it will show you two out of four. Now, why are there two people when I'm the only one here, right? First of all, your remote desktop, which is the software you need to install in order to create a room, link in the description below as to how to do the setup, very easy, it doesn't take long, um, will count as one person. Then the other person is yourself. So you can create your own avatar and stuff. So um, yeah, so this will also count as an additional person. So that is why at the moment it says two out of four. So effectively, uh, you can only have 
up to three people in the room. So you plus two other guests. All right, time for the giveaway. Oof, this one is a nice one. We're giving away a couple of keys for the Tribe XR app, which you can use both on the Oculus Quest or the Oculus Rift. It won't matter. So if you're a Rift uh, viewer and you're watching this video, no worries, we'll sort you out. Thank you so much for Tribe for this collaboration. We've been working with them actually for the last few weeks, developing content with them, and we'll be partnering with a club as well in Singapore. I can't reveal too much about that yet. Do hit the subscribe button and the uh, notification bell so that also you'll get notified when I post the uh, DJ Gemstar video, which will be pretty soon. And prize number two. As you might be aware, I'm giving away this brand new Oculus Go 64 gigabytes worth 399 Singapore dollars to anyone and everyone around the world. All you have to do, very simple, hit the subscribe button and you could be one of the lucky 1,000 uh, people to enter this competition because upon hitting 1,000 subs, I'll be doing a lucky draw completely live on the channel and who knows, you might be the winner. So you know what to do. Thanks for watching. Remember to like and subscribe, share some lives that you and I together, we can grow the community and help as many people in VR. Yeah, because that is what it's all about. I'd like to thank you again for watching. You are truly, truly awesome. Until next time, take it easy. And of course, DJ, take it away.